From the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet, these homeless people in Mandeville got pampered for an entire day. Haircuts, pedicures, manicures, and massages, this man getting all of the above at once, in recognition of World Homeless Day on October 10. Volunteers from RSVP Caribbean, the Mandeville Optimist Club, Manchester High School, and other parts of the world came together to treat the homeless. Regional Director of RSVP Caribbean, Dr. Bridget Barrett says the initiative aims to sensitize the public to take better care and reduce stigma against the homeless. I think persons um, are a little bit more sensitive to the needs of the homeless, but I think we still have a far way to go and that is why we're doing it this year as well to get the public to understand why they're on the street and what they can do in their own way to assist persons on the street. We're also adding a different dimension to it this year because by the end of 2018 we want to take five homeless persons off the street. So we've selected those five cases. We've actually assisted with taking one person off already. He's now at Hartrow studying to be a chef and we'll be supporting him for the next 15 months. The initiative also caters to the less fortunate, for example orphans, hurricane victims and the critically ill. Jason Etsy, who sleeps in the market, says he's often mistreated by the public, but this shared his spirit. I feel all right and happy, everything. I like how they treat you, know? Yeah, man, they treat me nice and, and, and good. Today it's not about only our youth, because we actually have young persons here who are homeless. But it's also about the human being, you know, the overall human being, the spirit of giving, and that's what it's about today. We care about them, and that, and that we're willing to do whatever it takes to help, to help them. It doesn't make sense to tease them, because they were once where we were in life. Um, yeah, we'll never know the outcome of what we will become in, in the future. Anna is a volunteer from Germany who says, from experience, homeless people are treated differently in Jamaica than where she's from. The poverty is not as high as in Jamaica, so the problem out here is much, it's worse. And um, to be honest, people out here treating homeless people different from we in Germany. They're calling them words and um, yeah, that's basically something we don't really do in Germany. Dr. Barrett, who says that they're trying to get five homeless persons off the streets by 2018, is encouraging people to form a relationship with the homeless instead of harming them. We're just appealing for everyone to just treat the homeless with love and respect. Um, they're humans just as we are and it's just a thin line between having a home and not having a home and not everybody has a support system. With a ray of hope, I'm Athalia Reynolds-Baker. A ray of hope 